So welcome to the second program in a little series of films we're making here called Percy's Progress. The first one you saw Percy at just 14 weeks old. Um, we'd had him about four weeks. We're now in the middle of December and uh, he's now just coming on 17 and a half weeks old. Um, growing like anything. But um, I'm just beginning now to start to see some nice little attributes with him. You probably see here I've already introduced him to the lead. Now there's a lot of controversial um, thoughts about when to <laughs> now he's going to chase his tail, um, when to introduce a spaniel to the lead. Well for most people like me I've got to do it out of practical terms. Um, the dogs have got to learn to walk on the lead at a fairly early age. I'm not doing any heel work with him or anything like that. Just getting him in use to being on the lead. Uh, sometimes he's a bit like a ferret on the end of a piece of string. But on the whole, um, we can get up the road with him uh, and he's walking quite quite well. The other thing I started to do while he's on the lead is just introduce this little sit whistle. Uh, Percy. And uh, that's coming on really nicely now. I've decided to use a, an Acme silent whistle with him, which is a little bit quieter. Um, still using the place board, but I'm quite keen to also do stuff with him off the board just so he gets used to it. Good lad. Still giving him the occasional little treat. Becoming very birdy now. He's starting to watch any birds or anything flying flying by. The other thing I can start to do on the lead as well now is just that little recall, which is a couple of pips. Good lad, good boy. Good boy. And again, he's just really cottoning on to that. But he's developing this now where he's quite happy to sit next to me while I'm walking about. Boy, not always treating him like the first video, just every now and again a little stroke, just getting that head up. Good lad, and he's still really enjoying himself. So that's where I am with the lead. Um, it's really just a, a form of restraint at the moment. Um, so I'm not doing any heel work with him at all. Uh, I don't want to restrict any of his drive, which he's certainly not having any of that restricted at the moment. And then I'll just uh, go and get the place board and I'll show you where we are with the place board now. So as you can see, we're still using the place board, uh, but what I've done now is where I was going in the first session that we did, um, I was really just concentrating on getting him to sit on it and beginning to get him conditioned to being on the board. It's a good place to be, he likes to be there. I can now start to use that for my recalls. Um, again, I'm using my whistle, I'm introducing that um, three little pips or fast, rapid little pips as a recall. And what I've found now is he's cottoned onto that. So when he hears that, he's coming back to me quite quickly. And because I'm behind the board and he's learnt, he's got to sit on the board when he gets to it. Um, we get a nice coming up the front, sitting up, looking at me. Good boy. Oh, we're a bit lopsided there. So we're just, good boy. Probably heard there, I'll just introduce that little single pip again. Just holding him there, he's got that nice eye contact. Sit still. Good boy, good lad. Good lad. The other thing I've just started to work on a bit more now. Sit, good lad. He's just starting to move a bit more with him now. Sit. There's a lot of distractions here, we've got somebody out the back on a quad which is just distracting him slightly so every time he just looks away I'm just gonna step into him again get his eye contact back Good boy. lovely and now what I'm doing is I'm just now starting to lengthen the time sit good lad sit, uh, uh, sit. Percy yeah. a little bit distracted today so we'll try that again Percy sit good boy Notice there, I'm not always treating him. Just going to try and lengthen the time he's got to sit there now. And we'll just stand there. Great eye contact now. You've got to keep these sessions real short. Good lad, that'll do you. Good boy, go on in. One of the um, issues I have had with Percy, with, he's been with his retrieving. He, um, he started to run past me quite a lot when, um, when doing his retrieving. So what I've done is I've come to an alleyway just down the side of my house um, and this just restricts him uh, from going past me. Still going to use the place board because eventually I want him to come up on onto the place board 
um, as you can see he's, he's really keen for his retrieving I like to do more retrieving at this age with them I know from his breeding good lad Sid I know from his breeding he's going to hunt well so I just want to get that real strong retrieving instinct in him at this stage um, because eventually when his nose starts to switch in um, we could end up with a dog that wants to hunt more than, than retrieve Sid good lad fetch it fetch it just locking him again. He's not going to go past me. Good boy. And then when he comes off from me, a bit, of, a bit of congratulations. You see he's really keen for this. His little tail's going 19 to the dozen. We'll just do another one. Percy, sit. Percy, sit. Here. Sit. Sit. I just want to maintain that keenness at the moment. Fetch it. Good lad. Come on then. Good boy. Just block him again. Good boy, he's on that board and now that's it, good lad. The other thing I'm really keen of is using lots of different kinds of retrieves. Um, so that was a tennis ball. I also want him to get used to the traditional canvas dummy. Again, I'm not going to send it to his set on there. Percy, come on Sid. Percy here. Percy, here. Sit. Good lad. Good boy. Fetch it. Fetch it. Good lad. Good boy, Percy, Percy. And this is just these puppiness here messing about. Good lad, come on in. Good boy. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. It's also a plastic dummy. So again, I just like them to pick up all sorts of different retrieves at this age. It just gets them used to different textures, different shapes. Fetch it. Good lad, come on then. Good boy. Good boy, good lad, here, no, here, sit, now he's already learnt now, he's learning, now he's got to come back, sit and wait, fetch it, good boy, good lad, that's better, good boy, you see his keenness, which is really what we want to try and build up, and the keenness for retrieving, we can later on use that when we start doing a few more hunting exercises, when the Hopefully when the water's gone a bit. So this is a soft rubber one, different kind. Yeah, that's it. There we go, good lad. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Come on in, come on in. Good lad. Good lad. Different shape for him, different texture. Good boy, that was good. That's it. That's it. That's better. Obviously all these things are difficult and different for him to pick up. Good lad, that's better. Good boy. Good boy. You're a good lad. Good lad. I just want him to learn. It's good fun for him to bring things back to me. Once he sits again. Percy, sit. Sit. Good boy. Fetch it. Fetch it. Come on in. Good lad. Good boy. That's better. Good boy. Yes. Actually, we'll just go back to the canvas one again. Yeah. Percy, sit. Good boy. Fetch it. Good lad. Come on in. Good boy. Now he's coming straight back up on the board. Just that little session there he's learned. If he comes back up on the board, gives it to me, he'll get another one. So we're just developing that excitement and that desire to retrieve. And we're just going to finish off with a tennis ball. Percy, sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy, fetch it. There we go. Up on the board this time, lovely, that's better. Now, that little tail's still going, he wants more. And this is where I'm gonna say, no more. That's going away. Look his body language, he's really keen for that. And now I know that's the point to stop. So when we come back next time, he'll be extra keen. And that's where I want him to be, good. So, there you have it. 18 weeks old, still full of beans. Um, Still got a long way to go with him, obviously, but so far I'm really pleased. I'm seeing some, some good signs now. Um, he's a lovely little chap to have about, and um, great fun. A bit of a nutter sometimes, but I'm just beginning to see some really nice little traits about him now. Um, good boy, good lad. He loves his training, he's really keen for it. So we'll give it another four weeks or so, and then we'll come back and uh, show you some more progress.